30, 15. Advantage chain. Fifteen forty. Fifteen all. Let's change.
McEnroe leads 4-2. Fifteen all. Fifteen thirty. Vintage chain. Fifteen 
quiet, please. all night for that lob. Shows you how important it is to have a lob in your repertoire. He's been deadly with it today and he's won a lot of very important points with the topspin lob. Once again he viciously comes over the top of that ball and lands a good foot inside the court. But John has been the target that Michael Chang loves so often tonight, and Chang is using it. Good shot here of Chang. Now gets that racket back real early, then slips that racket right over the ball from another angle. McEnroe cleanly passed. Point hits the top spin forehand. Chang right there, but there's the winning forehand cross court set up from another angle here. There's the lob right there that set it all up. Mac on his toes now, back inside the baseline. He anticipates well to his left and then just crunches. All right, he's pumped up after that one. <laughs> Tatum O'Neill. That was an impressive passion, passing shot. John was actually in the driver's seat, drilled one to the backhand side. Now he'll go to the forehand, and he comes right down the line. John never really moved towards it.
McEnroe didn't quite get to that first shot. Easy forehand put away, even though John tried to anticipate it. A lot of times your second serve will come up short. There it is, right there. And another lob. And it's the ninth time tonight that Michael Chang has hit a winner off a topspin lob to win the point. In quickly now, here it comes again. McEnroe, with his weight moving forward, gets caught for the ninth time. But I think McEnroe feels that he's starting to push Chang further and further back from the baseline. And that's going to make his lobs a little bit more accessible to McEnroe. Okay, I must take some incredible amount of tolerance for McEnroe to keep coming to the net in the face of those lobs. Footwork. He sees the short ball, comes right and prepares it with that forehand grip. Boris Becker used power to knock Chang out in the semis of the French this year. Oh, uh, yes. That's where McEnroe's hands help him so much. And he moves around the net about as well as anyone that's ever volleyed in the game. And he has that sense of when to close in. Lunges forward, and the racket is always out in front. Perfect volleying position. That is a spectacular get from Michael Chang, making McEnroe work again on the overhead. Very few players would have even got their racket on this ball. McEnroe with the volley into the open court. Look how far away Michael is. Just gets it before it bounces twice and forces McEnroe into a fairly difficult overhead. Oh, Michael thought he had the approach. Approach shot now as Chang lines it up, comes over the ball, and called wide. Look at Michael, thought for sure he could believe the call. Monroe put some zip into that first forehand volley. As John right here really nails that forehand volley, but somehow Chang gets the shot. McEnroe back quickly, nails the overhead. Look at Chang again. Almost got his racket on that ball. From another angle here, the top spin lob. Now watch Michael. Talk about defense. Go for it, Michael. It's incredible. It's a lot to get it past the flying Chang. for that shot, yeah. not the streaks that time. You're telling me. <laughs> Smart gamble by McEnroe. He thought he had gotten the forehand deep. 
into the court against Michael Chang. A good look at it here. John tries to surprise him with a forehand down the line, tries to sneak in, but he didn't expect Chang to come up with an answer. Good forehand cross court. Another shot of the Chang forehand. He got over there so quickly. McEnroe didn't think he'd get over there and anticipated. Big point. Chang serves his third ace to hold and send the third set to a tie break. the tie break. There's one right there, first serve. Ask and you shall receive. And we shall look. And we shall not be able to tell. up in Mrs. McEnroe's lap over there. The second serve starting to get shorter and shorter, Barry. McEnroe having a great opportunity to come in and really give it a whack. At that time, Chang did not have the time to hit a good topspin lob over John. The last second serve for Chang, just 59 miles an hour. Correct. Correct. The speed is not quite as important as the depth. At that time, it barely got past the middle of the box. Steve Ulrich. Correcting the call at his first serve. And after a 59 mile an hour comes the 110 mile an hour ace. He's been in all sorts of situations before, so he knows how to conserve energy. He knows how to turn it on and off. It was just telling off a couple seconds ago, and there you're sprinting as fast as you can into the net, putting away a four-hand volley. service break he'd love to break right here crossover and serve for the fourth set John is still moving like a cat see when he was preparing for the lob he kept shuffling shuffling those feet not committing too soon Third break point of the game. Oh, that 
that's a... <laughs> the shot that's working for him tonight. The cross-court forehand beat us so often he has used it and that time on the return of serve. Watch him jump into this cross-court now. The minute he sees the opportunity. There it is. Watch a couple of steps and then right on top of the net punch volley into the open court. Same thing. Identical point. Has really worked against Chang. We could do the replay from the point before, and we'd see almost the same thing as McEnroe just climbed on that forehand one more time. into a hot, humid night in Chang's court coverage is remarkable. There is nobody faster right now than Michael Chang. McEnroe hits a great angle volley here. Thought he had the winner. Chang somehow got his racket on the ball. Another look at Chang on the full run. Whips it up the line. Man, is he getting pumped up. The back edge of the line. Yeah, that yeah. was close. For a moment, it looked like it was going to go long. Let's have another look. McEnroe watching it closely. The line's been watching it closely. Oh, if that got any part of the line, it got a sliver on the back side of the line. I like it. A sliver indeed. Harry oh. McKay has gone to courtside, and he will be there to interview both participants. The chair umpire's job is to overrule obvious mistakes. And in Ulrich's opinion, this was one. He called the ball out, first of all. And second of all, that had nothing in, no interference at all? Oh, you didn't? There's no describe the way I think about you, you know that? Words cannot possibly describe how low I think you are. Took that out of Michael Chang's book of how to make a great get.
compared to what Patrick McEnroe went through the other night. That's an ace. Ten for Chang. Second ace of the game. Three Chang points in this game have been aces.